Hello, Al Spinks. And during this Easter season, I like to share my reflections on the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. We know that he was born into this world. He experienced both good times and bad. He separated himself from others at times in order to pray. And we all know that he felt physical and emotional pain, just like any other human. He said that he came so that we can learn how to have a relationship with God, the Father. He also said that anyone who knew the will of his father and did it was his mother, brother, or sister. I think what Jesus really tried to say was, if we know the will of God and we do it, then we can treat him just like family. And you all know that we call on family whenever we need them and at any time. In my mind, there's no doubt that Jesus really is the Son of God. But you know what really excites me? This Easter season is what really gets my blood boiling and recharges my faith. The reason is that it reminds me of Christ's true purpose. Yeah, I know that he was falsely accused, beaten, and tried in both the Jewish and Roman courts. I also know that he was convicted and sentenced to die. When the Roman governor, who knew that Jesus was an innocent man, offered to execute a known criminal by the name of Barabbas in place of Jesus, the crowd pitched <laughs> such a fit that the governor went ahead and signed Jesus' execution papers. And as a result, Jesus was executed on a cross at Calvary. So far, nothing's happened to Jesus that hasn't happened to many other innocently executed victims. But this is where the story really gets good. You see, if you really want to understand Jesus' purpose, I believe it was to show us that our life is more than an earthen vessel. You see, when his body expired on the cross, his life force, or spirit some say, went down into hell to handle his business with the devil and to show him what was really up. I also like to think that he also went to have a talk with God the Father, Abba. Then on the third day, he came back, picked up that worthless lump of clay that was his body to show us that there is life after death. Didn't Jesus tell us he'd come back for us? I believe that the cross wasn't an implement of death after all, but a pedestal where Jesus was lifted up so that everyone could relate to his humanity and call on him whenever they wish. The real purpose of the Easter season is to teach us not to fear death, to show us that death has no sting, and to inform us that the devil is a liar. This is the reason that Easter excites me so much. And, by the way, the Aramaic word Abba is really an intimate translation for the word Father. The Aramaic word Bar translates into Son of. Therefore, Barabbas really translates into Son of the Father. Aren't we the sons and daughters of God the Father? If so, then wasn't Jesus substituted on the cross for our sins and for us and to show us what's really up? Have a happy Easter. I will. Thank you and God bless.